guys, Eric here, Nomadic Fanatic. I came to Priest Point Park today. I'm going to install my solar panel kit here on my RV. Uh, before I get started though, I just want to give one more shout out to everyone who helped me uh, fund this project on Indiegogo. A total of 96 different people funded me way over my goal. Uh, also helped me fix some other things in, in the RV, so thank you very much. Um, I'm going to scroll everybody's name that wasn't anonymous at the end of this video, so I can't thank you guys enough. Thank you for making this possible. I want to talk a little bit about the solar kit that I purchased from RV because I picked it for a very specific reason. I opted to not get solar panels that adhere to the top of the motorhome. Um, I went with a portable system, and this was something I planned months ago, three, four months ago, to get a portable system um, with 16 feet of cable where I could put it out. And I want to kind of explain that theory to people that don't understand why I don't just want to charge all the time. Well, come to a place like this. It's going to be over 80 degrees today, by the way, here in Olympia. Um, as you can see, I'm in a very shaded spot with my RV. So there's like no sun on my RV right now, which means it's going to be a lot less hot in there. It's going to be really cool in there. And the reason why that's nice to do is because I can have solar panels set up somewhere else here at the park where it's actually sunny and away from the RV. And that way I'm not heating the RV 30 degrees warmer than what I would like to be at. So that was, so I think that this park is a great spot. So you can look at the specs um, for everything that I bought uh, and price wise and everything will be listed under the details for this video. Just click on see more to get uh, all the details. But um, I got the Renogy portable solar kit. It's a 100 watt system that comes with its own charge controller. I also want to make one more little disclaimer about the battery that I'm hooking it up to. I have two batteries in my RV, one that starts the RV, you know, the starting engine or, uh, battery. And then I also have the battery that is my deep cycle battery that runs everything else in the RV. Both batteries are located under the hood and that is a little different than most modern RVs. Usually the deep cycle battery would be somewhere else in the coach in another compartment or even inside the RV. So don't be confused. It, it, it is a deep cycle battery that I'm messing with under the hood, not the driving battery. And Jax, my mom, what? You weren't invited? What? How come? I'm sorry. Let me hook up solar and then I'll talk to you, okay? Okay. So yeah, let's uh, open this up and see what we got. Yeah, it's very portable. It's thin. It looks like really cheesy a uh, bag, but it's actually really durable. Very durable. It's right here that will release it. Inside you get some uh, reading material here. Let me just throw those away. You get 16 feet of cable. It also comes with this uh, quick release, which I am going to use on my motorhome two battery clamps to go right onto the battery. The charge controller is permanently mounted inside here. Um, it has two connections for positive and negative the panel, and there's positive and negative for going to the battery, which is where I'm gonna clamp these two on. And then it has um, a load here, positive and negative. The only thing I don't like about this concept is these didn't come stripped, so I stripped them, and then I realized, well, when you put this away, if there's sun hitting the if there's sun hitting the panel, these two wires can technically touch. You know, there's nowhere to put them. So I thought that was kind of weird. That's how it came, um, but I have a fix for this. What I did to try and fix that situation with those is I went and got some some parts. I went and got uh, two of these guys. And um, I'm gonna crimp these onto the wires. But that way, once these two devices are on the wire, there won't be any exposed metal that, that can ground out and touch anywhere. These will be in there. And then I got a bunch of these that I can put on, uh, put those on some different devices. And then while I'm also charging the battery, I'll be able to hook those devices into this and have and run something while I'm also charging the battery. So 
I think that it's almost a necessity that if you're going to uh, run another appliance while running, while also charging your battery and your RV, you're going to want to use this load probably for something, for to charge something else or to power something else out, out where you're at. So I would definitely recommend putting these clamps on and I'll show you how I do that. See, now that I have these two devices right here, I can put these ends on whatever other lead I want to plug into, and they just slip right in. Now, one thing to remember that as soon as these solar panels are getting any type of sunlight, they are going to start producing electricity. So, you've got these clamps here. You've also got the ones that I just put ends on. If any of those are touching, you have, you know, they're, they're all going to be hot as soon as this is... Uh, picking up any sun. So you might want to um, cover the solar panel before you start doing the install, or you can do what I'm going to do, which is hook up all this stuff before I put the panel into the sun, which again is another uh, bonus to having a portable system. So just for clarification, this is my starting battery over here, and this is my deep cycle battery over here. This is the one I'm going to hook up my terminals to. But your deep cycle battery may be somewhere else in your RV. There we go, I'm hooked up to the battery. The best part about the system is it's got an inline fuse already built in. It's got the quick connect release right here, which there's no metal showing anywhere, so it doesn't matter if it touches something, it's not gonna ground out and cause any problems. I can just tuck this in, set it right there, close the hood, and I'm off. When I get to the campground, all I gotta do is pop the hood, take this, right there, And then, I, and then I just have this sticking up to connect to. Now, if you really wanted to, you could also drill a hole somewhere in the hood or in the side of the body where this could clamp to and you could just have it out or you could permanently put it. But for me, this works just fine. As you can see, this isn't perfect sunlight. There's trees up here, there's some shaded spots. But for this demonstration, at least you'll see how it works. Now your charge controller is gonna automatically turn on as soon as it detects that you are plugged into a battery. Do this two ways. Your battery light is gonna be green, and then also your PV solar panel light will be green, saying that it's gathering solar from the sun right now. Make sure to read the directions in there to find out exactly how to navigate through the menu system to select the right kind of battery that you're charging in your RV. That's it. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy free power. Thanks for watching, guys.